Hello guys, my name is Larishan Lassi and today I will tell you how to do cross validation in Rapid Miner. So first of all, we will open Rapid Miner and in Rapid Miner there are also samples of data sets available. We can uh, access them from samples data and there are many data sets you can see here. And there is also option if you want to import your data, your own data set, you can import it by writing here read. Now you can see there is 14 extensions of data set you can read in Rapid Miner. Read means importing the data set into a Rapid Miner. But we will uh, today will we use sample, a sample of data. So, I will take Titanic 10 data. It's the data of Titanic, uh, a Titanic ship. You all know about what uh, what was the Titanic ship. So, I imported the data. Now, I will import the cross validation model here. The best part of the uh, rapid miner is here we can drag and drop. Here we use drag and drop. Uh, you you have seen we I have dropped the data data set here and the uh, model as well. So here you can see both uh, the data data set and the model. Now I will click on model. So I uh, you can see here number false. <coughs> In cross validation, there are number of, number of faults we uh, we take, uh, we divide the data into. So, the ten is the standard number of faults which which is used, and uh, down uh, down the number of faults we are seeing sampling type. So, what is sampling type? Sampling type can uh, can be three. Uh, we have we can see here three type of samplings shuffle stratified and linear so i will keep the, uh, keep this automatic so rapid uh, rapid manner will automatically select what type of sampling this model uh, this model will use okay so let's start now we will connect the data set output with the cross validation input now the, uh, this uh, the uh, data set is connected with the cross validation now we will double click on cross validation to configure it cross validation uh, we will, uh, configuration means what type of model we will use in cross validation so there are two parts training and testing first of all we will work uh, we will apply model on training so i will apply here decision making decision tree okay so this uh, i have dropped the decision tree model here now i will connect the output of that in, in data set with the decision tree and output of the decision tree with the with that layer okay now here uh, here our training uh, training set uh, model is completed now we will go for testing in testing we will apply model use apply model okay yeah this is apply model the best part best part of rapid miner is here he will automatically recommend us what type of model we, we can use here so there was a hundred percent chances chances of apply models that's why I have, I have taken that now I will connect that mode input with the uh, with that uh, apply model and test with the uni now we have used apply model now we will use a performance model Performance model you can uh, use many performance model classification binomial, but 
here what rapid miner recommend us is a simple performance mode no now i will drag and drop it here so now we will connect lab output with the lab input and uh, let uh, let it be don't connect the mode with the per, uh, performance now here we connect performance with the performance you have seen we have completed our configuration of cross validation now we will go for processes again okay now we will connect the mode with the result and we will also connect the per performance with the result so here we can see also performance of the model okay now we will run the our model now you can see here's the accuracy accuracy is 80.35 uh, we, uh, and precision precision 83.63 percentage recoil percentage there is a mode uh, now you can see that graph it's a AUC optimistic graph which you which you are seeing after that you can uh, you can see a oh, simple AUC and this is pessimistic graph everything you have seen here is the result of the performance okay performance model which we have applied now this is the description of that performance model in written okay annotations what is annotation annotate annotation is the keys and uh, keys which I have used in that model okay uh, but here we have done simple simple modeling uh, cross validation so there is no need to check annotations now we will go for here is the visualization of the decision tree which we have used okay you can see here number of parents less than 4500 you can see here all the visualization of the decision tree you can zoom it and zoom out for, uh, from here you can play uh, you can hear this you can see if i uh, if i remove the tick from the node level nodes names uh, are hidden okay now i will show it edge levels if i remove the edge level it will remove the numbers which you are seeing here it will remove the edge levels okay what is result history result is, is the all results all processes which, which we have done and the results of that processes are saved here okay now all we uh, all we have seen here are the results now we will go again on design where we have designed here we have taken the number of Folds 10. If we uh, what if we change the number of folds? Here is the recommendation. Five percent of of a successful uh, successful cross validation is one to ten or uh, two folds. Five uh, five percent in three to four folds and eight percent of uh, chances of successful cross validation is five to six folds. Now I will six uh, select six folds here and run again that so here you can see the accuracy of uh, of that model decreases why it decreased because we have less the number of faults see you in the next video please like and share the video and subscribe my youtube channel code to solve thank you very much